In this video, we're going to look at the pull versioning functionality. Now, what pull versioning allows you to do is to have multiple versions of similar polls and perform comparative analysis. So, here we have a situation where I have a poll, and I'm and this poll is in need of a little bit of guying work. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the original version of this poll, and then I want to do a couple of proposed solutions. So, let's go ahead, and the first thing I do is I tell it I want to make a new version of this poll. And you'll see what it did was it made a version of the poll, set it as the active version, which is indicated by this little red box. I have my inactive version, which is my original copy. Now, so I can differentiate between the two of them, I'm going to go ahead and change the description to test solution one. And so I'm going to test my guying solution. So let's go ahead and uh, what I want to do is go ahead and throw some guy wires on here. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it I want to throw a guy on there. And it threw a guy in an anchor on. It's going to recalculate the solution. So here we can see my proposed solution number one. And if I right click on the original poll and say set as active version, what it'll do is it'll flip back and it always resets the camera view and so we're now we're back to my original. So here's my original and here's my proposed first solution. And whenever I flip you see it automatically recalculates and shows me the the value for the thing. Now I'm not super happy with this solution because clearly in the uh, uh, secondary and service area and the com area I probably need to guide that as well but just for the sake of argument what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and I'm going to say I want to make a new version again and this one I'm going to call test solution number two. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and select that anchor, and I'm going to go ahead and add in a guy at the secondary and service, and a guy down here in the com zone. And this is my second proposed solution and it's going to go ahead and automatically recalculate. So now I have three versions of the same poll that live in the same file and they all get stored together and I can switch back and forth between them and see the differences uh, between the two. So whatever one I have set as my currently active one, that's the one that I'm going to see all my charts on, that's the one all my reports will be run on, and that's the one I'm going to perform all my measurement operations on, but I can easily switch back and forth. So I go here, set active version, and it's going to put me back to my original poll, automatically recalculate and now I'm back to my original situation. So it's very easy for me to play little what-if games and find a solution that I like the best without throwing away or editing existing solutions. So that's poll versioning. Um, it's a very powerful tool and it allows you to pretty easily um, make uh, different versions of a poll and then keep them together for easy reference purposes.